Top 25 Network Technician Interview Questions and Answers Network technicians are special IT professionals charged with several duties. They design and install computer networks, fix issues in LAN infrastructure, and take care of connection and cabling. Given that these are essential activities in any organization with an IT department, these individuals are in high demand. Companies love assessing their potential employees before giving them jobs to ascertain whether they have all it takes for their job openings. Expect, therefore, to appear before a panel of interviewers if your job application goes through. In this article, we furnish you with some of the questions you should expect in your interview. We hope that these will give you a head start and help you land a job. Let's get started. 1. Why are you interested in this job? Sample answer. I am a network technician who is passionate about my job. I went through your job description, which matches what I have been doing over my years of practice. I have also been eyeing your company for some time now, appealed by your work culture and missions, and therefore, feel that my services will be better utilized here. 2. What are the roles of a network technician? Sample answer. From my former workplaces, some of the roles that I undertook were making routine repairs to computer hardware and software, keeping the company protected against cyber attacks, designing and installing a range of computer networks, evaluating network performance, scheduling upgrades and maintenance, training co-workers on network systems. 3. What are some of the qualities that a network technician requires to be effective? Sample answer. A network technician should have superb communication skills to pass on information regarding network systems effectively. He or she should also be a good problem solver and creative thinker. Other qualities include analytical thinking, mathematics skills, ability to teamwork and proper time management skills. 4. What main challenge did you face in your last role and how did you manage it? Sample answer. I was contracted to work for a large industry leading company. When I visited and did a survey, I realized that most of their software and infrastructure were outdated. When I approached the senior managers, they were reluctant to make any changes citing budget constraints. They also argued that they had come this far with them and managed just well. I had to explain to them the dangers of having outdated systems and what that could do to the business. They later agreed when they saw just how dangerous it was and decided to get new ones. 5. Describe your daily routine as a network technician. Sample answer. My day starts early and is mostly spent on my computer. I report to work, set up my desk, and plan out my day before attending the regular team meetings that we have as the IT department. Here, we update each other on any development and get status updates. I then review any pending or continuing assignment, be it checking new equipment or troubleshooting an issue. I then ensure that the network systems are functional and be on the lookout for issues. Most of my day is, therefore, spent gathering information, troubleshooting issues, diagnosing, and remediating. 6. Briefly describe your experience. Sample answer. This is my seventh year in this field. I started working as a junior network technician in charge of overseeing whether hardware and software were functioning well. I was paired with a senior technician who taught me the gist of what I know. I have since taken up supervisory and, at one point, team management roles. My last position was senior data technician managing a team of young technicians. 7. What kind of strategies and mindset is needed for this role? Sample answer. This role requires someone who is quick and can prioritize work. One must also embrace teamwork, an important strategy since you may need the help of the entire IT department. As for the mindset, one should always be open to new challenges and attentive to details since it involves diagnosing and troubleshooting issues. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? Sample answer. Being in this industry for quite some time has helped me witness and manage several challenges. However, the most common one is outdated systems which threaten my job as a network technician. I have since noticed that your company prides itself in updated systems, and therefore it will not be a problem. I believe that any other challenge that comes up can be easily managed with your help. 9. How do you stay motivated at work? Sample answer. Knowing that my work makes somebody else's easier gives me the motivation I need. Whenever all the hardware and even software required for the dispensation of another person's roles are up to date, they have an easy time at work. 
I also love my job, and the passion for solving network problems fuels me. I also love solving technical problems that other people consider impossible. The look on their faces once I deliver a solution is enough for me. 10. Describe a time when you failed in this role and the lesson you learned. Sample answer. I once failed to offer training on a network system that I had installed. It was a one-time job, and once I installed the system, I left. The head of IT found it complicated and may have tampered with it when trying to figure it out. The business had to incur expenses in bringing it back to its feet. Ever since I have learned to do installations in the presence of a member of the IT team and then inform them of some of the basics. 11. What is VPN and what is its use on LAN? Sample answer. Fully known as the virtual private network, VPN allows remote users to connect to a local area network and assess its computers without a physical connection. It allows employees to add themselves to LAN from the comfort of their homes or when on the road. However, to maintain network security, only authorized users should connect. 12. Could you mention some of the advantages of a wireless network? Sample answer. Embracing wireless technology allows users and administrators to enjoy local area networks fully. You do not need additional cable connections when adding computers to a wireless network, making it highly convenient. It is also easy to troubleshoot any connection problem in wireless networks. A range of devices can also operate on wireless networks making it highly suitable. 13. What are some of the disadvantages of wireless networks? Sample answer. The pros outweigh the cons when it comes to wireless networks. However, it is still essential to point out that these networks present a security issue since it is easier to compromise network security in wireless networks. This is made possible by the ease at which one can pick up wireless signals from an antenna within a given range. 14. Could you please define bus topology and mention its advantages and disadvantages when it comes to the designing of a local area network? Sample answer. Bus topology is the bridge that connects several workstations to given servers through coaxial bus cables connecting each device to the local area network. The role of the network technician, in this case, is to define this connection. Some of the advantages that it poses are cost efficiency and improved security when compared to wireless networks. The disadvantages are mainly experienced in maintenance and deployment. 15. Can you differentiate a full mesh topology from a partial mesh topology? Sample answer. Given that a full mesh network is entirely wireless, each device can connect to all the other devices sharing the network through a wireless access point. However, the same cannot happen in a partial mesh, given that it is a combination of wired and wireless devices. 16. What does a switch do on a local area network? Sample answer. A network switch acts as a central bridge that connects all the devices or computers in a network. It allows users to pick the connections that are allowed and those that are not. It is possible to use a switch to dictate the computers that will access the internet and those not authorized. In other terms, it is responsible for the routing of communications between individual computers and the network. 17. What would you do to troubleshoot the network if an employee reported that they cannot access the network? Sample answer. There are several ways of tackling this, depending on the issue. However, I will gather as much information as I can from all the users. This helps me come up with a theory and copy the issue subjecting it to testing. This allows me to confirm whether I have diagnosed or located the problem. I may also use several tools to solve this issue, such as command line tools, which reveal more information about the given network. There are also many independent applications that I may use, such as port scanner and Wi-Fi analyzer. If the need arises, I may also use actual hardware such as light meters and ohmmeters to help me understand where the problem is. 18. Why do you think it is important for you to keep abreast on the recent technology trends and development? Sample answer. As network technicians, part of our job involves troubleshooting and solving problems, which we can only do with a perfect understanding of different technology and how we can utilize them. This explains why I take time to learn about innovations and conduct extensive research on everything related to technology. I read blogs and journals on networks which keeps me posted on any changes. 
I also study a lot, which has proved successful so far. 19. What process do you follow to troubleshoot quickly? Sample answer. I first ensure that I have all the information that I can obtain from the people experiencing the given issue. I then try to locate the problem before coming up with a theory and testing it. If I happen to be right, I will implement the known solutions. However, if it turns out to be wrong, I will develop a new theory or escalate the problem. I will then create a plan of action, implement a solution, conduct some tests, and implement some preventive measures. The last step is to document the issue, actions and results. 20. What don't you like about this job? Sample answer. I am not too fond of the fact that, at times, system maintenance and upgrades affect other people's work and activities. Even though we try as much as possible to prevent this, it is inevitable at times. All in all, this is an enjoyable job that I love doing. 21. Mention one of the most indispensable resources and tools in your line of work. Sample answer. I have a list of tools and resources that I find very useful. However, the most important is Microsoft TechNet which has loads of information on IT. You also get to train and access a vast library. You get to learn how to solve a given problem or get help. 22. How do you handle a busy day? Sample answer. I have come to realize that being level-headed is essential when handling lots of work. Lots of worrying or nervousness negatively impact efficiency. When faced with a heavy workload, I prioritize work, dealing with the most important ones based on their impact. However, I may also multitask where necessary and maintain the needed quality. If I cannot finish in time, I inform co-workers and clients. 23. How do you deal with errors in your work? Sample answer. I use the network reporting channel to note the issue and how we can resolve it. If we can solve it without creating more problems, I will correct it and then update the patch notes. However, if it can cause future issues, I will let the team leader know or talk to the support technicians. However, I always ensure that I am very keen to avoid such occurrences. 24. What do you understand by a link? Sample answer. A link is connectivity between two devices. It is a broad term that includes the different types of cables and protocols that enable a device to communicate with the other. 25. Explain to us what a backbone network is. Sample answer. It is a centralized model that distributes different routes and data to several networks. It is also responsible for managing the bandwidth and several channels.